And it's time for our round one, the presentation round. We're going to start with the motion supporter and then the motion opposer. Good day, moderator, panel of judges, accurate timekeeper, my co-debater, and my attentive listeners. My name is Afolari Busari, a manual of Ifako International Secondary School. And I'm here on this day to lay emphasis on the fact that, in addition to English, Nigerian language should be taught in schools. Statistics have shown that 43% of Nigerians cannot speak English language. So that basically means that they are left with the option of traditional language, which is lower than the percentage that cannot speak the traditional language, which isn't right. The following point of mine are my reasons for laying emphasis on the fact that in addition to English, Nigerian language should be taught in schools. Learning your traditional language keeps your culture alive. Someone once said, nothing is as important to a nation's culture as its language. So that means that a language means everything to a nation's culture. A nation's culture without language is like television without electricity to power it. This basically means that a culture means nothing, absolutely nothing without its language. Learning your traditional language also helps you build understanding and appreciation of your culture. Not only that, it also helps you to connect people, not only people, but also children with their culture, which is also very important. I think a traditional language also helps you to have originality in everything you do, be it dressing, talking, eating. It gives you that traditional originality so that people will be able to identify you wherever you go. A language is more than just a way of communication. It's how people communicated, shared ideas, views, thoughts, and opinions when English was not available in times of old. That is why language is the most direct and closest connection with cultures. I hope I've been able to convince you and not to confuse you that in addition to English, Nigerian language should be taught in schools. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well done. Good job. Okay, Anita, the floor is yours. Good day, moderator, panel of judges, accurate timekeeper, my co-debater, and my ever-attentive audience. My name is Nola Doshima Anita. I am a proud student of Vikmob High School. I am, supporting to, I am opposing to the notion that states, in addition to English language, schools should, should teach Nigerian languages instead of foreign languages. You may ask me why I say so, when I should be obviously supporting my indigenous languages. The reason is that students are being taught to learn new things and to have a better future. Learning of foreign languages is also part of it because when students learn their foreign languages, it boosts the brain power. Recent research on the brain has shown it that has shown it that when children when students learn their indigenous languages, it improves their mathematical mathematical skills, it improves their mental focus and it improves their writing and reading abilities. When students learn their once they learn foreign languages, it once they learn foreign languages, it improves their memory. Research has shown it that students who are able to speak different languages with different foreign languages with convenience are, are better when it comes to remembering and recalling events. Students when they learn foreign languages are better when it comes to decision making. That is why multilinguals don't have problems when it comes to decision making. Students learn that learn foreign languages are better when it comes to when it when it comes to thinking. They have when they learn foreign languages, it takes their thinking and their cognitive abilities to higher levels. When students learn their foreign languages, it improves the, their own first languages. I don't know if you're getting me. You yeah. t it, when students learn their foreign languages, it improves their first language. That is their own cultural language. And in conclusion, students that learn foreign languages are better. They are given the opportunities to explore the world and all its languages. And it improves their own first languages. God, God knows what he did by giving different languages. And he said that we should learn them. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well done. <laughs> hmm. If you just tuned in, Lagos, you're listening to I Beg to Differ Tournament. It's a student debate tournament. 
and we have had students between 10. She's the youngest one we've had on the show so far, 10 years old and 17 years old, debating the questions of today. You just heard the voice of Anita uh, Nule uh, Dushima. She's uh, in Jazz 2 at Vic Mob High School. Uh, before her, you heard the voice of our second debater, 12 years old, Jazz 3 student at Ifako International Secondary School, a following Emmanuel uh, Busari. And their question today, in addition to English, should schools teach a Nigerian language instead of a foreign language? Emmanuel um, is uh, supporting the motion and uh, Anita is opposing the motion. All right, it's time for the rebuttal round. And we're going to start with the opposer this time. So Anita, the floor is yours. Okay, first of all, you said that 3% of Nigerians don't know how to speak English. But do you know that Nigerians, they are more English speakers than, than, people, in in, than people in England. They are more English speakers than English speakers in England itself. You said it keeps, their, it keeps the languages alive. Who told you that? I, I told you that when we learn foreign languages, it makes us to learn our own first languages. So when we learn foreign languages, it keeps them alive and it, it keeps our own languages alive because it has given us the mentality to learn our first language. You said it helps us to understand our culture. It's the same thing as it keeps them alive. When you learn foreign languages, science, recent research on the brain has, say, has said it that it makes you to learn your first language. So it will make you to understand your own culture better. You said it makes us to be original in, uh, in our dressing, in the way we speak. But let me tell you something. When, when we learn foreign languages it makes us more original it makes us it makes us better it makes us better than when we learn our foreign languages do you know why do you know why because foreign languages gives us better opportunities they give us better better opportunities it's you said it makes it improves our communication skills for example a person who knows how to speak japanese if he goes to japan he will be able to communicate better than a person who knows how to speak only Igbo and english if he goes to japan he, if he goes to japan he will find it hard to communicate with the people of japan thank you you okay. made only four points okay thank you very much <laughs> Emmanuel, what say you? Okay. You said that it boosts brain power. Like you said, decision making and thinking ability. You said it has shown that other that other activities and options for improving those decision making and thinking ability skills. Let's say Albert Einstein. He didn't need to learn, let's say, two languages before he became the man he is, he was at that time. His name is still Renu, but never once was he mentioned that he learned several languages for him to know what he knew at that time. He also said that explore the world. There are several other job opportunities that make you explore the world. Example, scientists. The scientists can offer international help. Um, they can also in offer international help to other people because his knowledge will not just be needed in this country, but al also all over the world. And also, you said that God said that we should learn other languages. Yes. Please, why in the Bible was it stated that we should learn other people's languages? And you also said that learning a foreign language helps you to learn your indigenous language. How is bonjour related to a caro? Those two languages are two different languages. They are not related in any way. So learning a foreign language, in my own opinion, is not going to help you to learn your own indigenous language. And finally, I meant traditional originality, not foreign originality. Like a Yoruba person now, if you were to go outside, it would be um, to go and eat, to go and like to give any option of um, food. So imagine a Frenchman also giving the opportunity to choose any kind of food he wanted. Obviously, a Nigerian man will always or will either choose swallow or jollof rice or fada rice because that is what he has been trained to eat from over time. So let's say a foreigner comes over here. He will want to eat, let's say, let's say French fries, noodles, etc. Because that is what he or she were um, taught over time to eat. So I meant traditional originality, not foreign originality. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Heavy punches today. 
All right. Woo! Hmm. Lagos. Problem deal. <laughs> because I'm looking at the points you made. Um, Anita, during her presentation, made three points. And Emmanuel, during his presentation, made three points. During the rebuttal, um, Anita made uh, two points and uh, Emmanuel made um, three points. No, sorry about that. Um, Emmanuel made two points and um, Anita made three points. As far as eloquence, Emmanuel scored four, Anita scored three. That brings our final scores to nine. You both scored nine. It's a tie. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you another two minutes. This is going to be the, the, what, what, what's, what's this, what's this typically called? Tie breaker. The tie break around. So you've got two minutes to give me closing statements, right? On this same subject. So, um, you tell me why, um, you think that, um, a foreign language is the better option to teach in a school instead of um, a local language. And you tell me why um, your indigenous languages, Nigerian languages, are better to teach in a school than a foreign language. So these is the same thing that you um, did in your uh, presentation, but you're going to give me fresh points and you have two minutes to do it. And you have to give me enough points to be the one who moves on to the quarterfinals. So um, good luck to both of you. I'll give you, say... Uh, two minutes to do a bit of thinking. I will take maybe two calls to give you some time so that you can think. And then um, we'll go into the, the final round. Lagos 0700-993-993-993-993-0145-7190. Um, so... You will, uh, you know, as a quick tip, you can make new points and give rebuttals as well, right? So just use your two minutes as diligently as possible. We've got WhatsApp as well. WhatsApp is 080-959-75805. And don't forget that we're streaming live on Facebook. Facebook is Nigeria Info 99.3. Hello. Thank you for calling us. What's your name? Hello? Hello? Sorry about that. Let's talk to Eze in Lekki. Hi, Eze. How are you? Hi, Ma. Uh, your children, they are doing amazingly wonderful, Ma. Mm. <laughs> I'm grateful. They want to break the wall there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eze. Let's talk to Sociable. Hello, Sociable. How are you doing? Welcome. Hello. Hi, Sociable. Good to have you on the show. Thank you very much, Sandra. All right. Well, this is what we call firebrand. Mm -hmm. Honestly, there should be a tie because I'm finding it difficult to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the right thing you have done, let them try it again. Mm -hmm. And on the first uh, contestant, mm -hmm. can I see comments on them? Yes, you can. Uh, honestly, the first presentation was the best for me. Mm -hmm. Honestly. It was my own winner, honestly. Okay. The first presenter. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much for calling us. All right. So uh, we've given you enough time to um, come up with some points. Your new time starts with um, Emmanuel, and then we'll come to Anita. Okay. So it is also easier to learn the language that you are used to. I'm sure you're familiar with the fact that French is taught in schools more generally. So, is it easy for you to learn French? Only a few percentage of people get high scores in French language in schools because they are not used to French languages. Even I myself really don't like the language because it is not something I'm used to. But rather, if you, learn, you try to learn traditional language, something that your parents communicate with you, what people communicate with you with, it will be easier for you to learn in schools than trying to learn a foreign language that you've never heard before. Samuel Johnson once said, I'm always sorry when a language is lost because language is the pedigree of a nation. Pedigree simply means ancestry or lineage of a person. This basically means that if a language is lost, the entire ancestry or lineage of a person is lost. It really isn't a good idea for you to leave your own language to learn a foreign language. That means you are leaving your culture, you are leaving your people, people that you 
grew with. And on the up topic of job opportunities, there are also there are different job opportunities and very limited job opportunities related to language. There are other job opportunities that are available than learning languages. There are only few job opportunities related to language in the world that we live in presently. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Anita. Okay. Learning foreign languages creates better job opportunities because it is not easy to find a job in this present Nigeria. So when when you know how to speak foreign languages, you have high chances of getting jobs outside the country. It creates better career opportunities. This means that students who learn foreign languages have the opportunity to choose the career of their choice of different languages. It creates world recognition. It means that it means it means that a child, a student who knows how to speak different languages has high chances of being globally recognized because of the marvelous wonders that he can perform. It also creates better it also creates better communication skills. Like if he travels outside the country, he'll be able to communicate, socialize better with or the citizens of where he travels travel to, like for like example, Italy. It also allows students to explore the world. It ex- allows students to explore the world and it and it and all its languages involved. It allows them to get good jobs. Like like eighty nine percent of clients say that say that that workers who can speak many languages are more worthy than workers who can only speak little languages, who can only speak one language or two. Multilinguals, it makes multilinguals famous. I'm sure you know what multilingual means. It means people who can speak more than two languages. It makes them famous and worthy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well done to both of you. My God, you have made this day a beautiful one for me. But you know what I always say, there can only be one. But thank you both for a wonderful debate. The debater who is moving forward to the final round, to the quarter final, sorry, is Emmanuel Afolarin Busari. Because Emmanuel made three points, while um, uh, Anita Dushima Nule made two points. That was so close. It was very close. Remember, I said originality of the points, the quality of the points you're making. Some of the points you were making were very repetitive. And that's why he scored higher here. Congratulations to you, Emmanuel. Thank well you done. so much. Anita, you're 10 years old. That means you can keep participating in this tournament until you are 16, 17. So I want to see you next year. Make sure that you participate again. And I do hope that you make it, that you make the cut. But thank you so much to both of you for coming. And thank you to Nigeria Info for the gifts that uh, were presented to you at the moment. Uh, Tomorrow, Lagos, 3 p.m. is the time for the debate. 3 p.m. tomorrow, the final match of the round of 16. And then next week, we'll bring you the quarterfinals. I am Sandra Ezekwesili on social media. S. Ezekwesili on social media. Well done to both of you again. Well done to everyone who's participated today. Uh, Those are your hard facts, Lagos. Good night. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.